the narcissist is spying on you. If you were a good source of supply to the narcissist, they are not just going to let you go. They are not just going to forget about you. When you try to move on from them, they will still be watching you. They will still be spying on you. They will be looking at or observing you attentively over a long period of time. They will be keeping you under careful, protective or secret observation. They will follow you closely and maintain an interest in you. They will be looking out for you. They will be on the alert for you. And this isn't just something they do in their spare time. This is something that they do full time. It becomes a lifestyle for them. It becomes a way in which they live. There is always something triggering in their minds. There is always something that they have read, seen or heard, which then causes them emotional distress. It causes them anxiety, sorrow or pain, where they then have to act on these thoughts and feelings in an attempt to relieve them by returning to the perceived source of their anxiety, sorrow or pain. They don't self-reflect or look within. So the only other way for them to resolve these painful emotions is by returning to you. Checking in on what you are doing or harassing you. This is how they medicate. This is how they try to treat their condition. By using you as their drug. But it never heals or cures their condition. It might mask their symptoms. It might give them entertainment or amusement. But soon enough, the anxiety, sorrow or pain comes back again. And that is why they have to keep returning to you. That is why they continue to spy on you. They continue to watch you. They have to keep returning to you to treat the symptoms of their condition. But it never heals or cures their condition. It only masks the, the symptoms. And that is why it never goes away. That is why they have to keep returning to you. The only way for them to really heal or cure the condition is through self-reflection or going within. But as we know, that is something the narcissist is never going to do. Their disorder is designed to block or deny any form of self-reflection. That is why they deny, project, blame shift and gaslight. These are all their attempts of avoiding self-reflection. That is why they cannot stop returning to you. They cannot stop spying on you. It becomes a sickness. And the only way that they can find temporary relief is by spying on you. As long as they know what you are doing as long as they know where you are or who you are with, it provides them with some relief. They feel as though they have some level of control over the situation. If they cannot keep track of you, they begin to suffer from anxiety, sorrow and pain. 
they become depressed. They become envious and jealous. They feel as though someone or something is taking you away from them. In their minds, you are their possession, their property. You belong to them. They feel that they own you. They feel that they have the right to control you. They feel that they should have the power to influence or direct your behavior and the course of events. They feel that they should determine your behavior or supervise your actions or movements because in their minds you are their possession. You are their property. You are an object that exists to serve them. You are their medication. You exist to relieve their symptoms of anxiety, sorrow and pain. To make them feel as though they exist. To make them feel as though they are not alone. In their minds, that is your duty. That is your purpose. And if you are trying to divert or change course from the duty or purpose that they have established for you, they feel that they have the right to spy on you. They have the right to watch you. Because in their minds, you're just an object. And they don't see you as though you have feelings of your own. They don't see you as having wants, needs or desires of your own. In their minds, you're just an object, a tool that is faulty or not working correctly. They don't care about you. They don't have your best interests in mind when they are spying on you. All they care about is their own selfish needs and what you can do for them. All they care about is their overwhelming feelings of envy and jealousy. Relieving the symptoms of their disorder. And that is why they keep returning to you. That is why they continue to spy on you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at notsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.